So today I have a favorites video for you. I am just doing a July favorites. I haven't done one. I've only done like two on my channel, I think. So let's just jump right into it. So I'm going to start off first with hair products. I have four hair products that I'm going to show you today. So the first two are the Tresemme Heat Tamer Sprays. I absolutely love these. And I use two different ones for two different reasons. So use the Tresemme, just regular heat tamer spray for when I'm blow drying my hair. So what I do is I wash my hair at night. I blow dry it. I like... I semi dry it so it's not completely dry but it's it's dry enough so I can sleep on it so I will use that and then in the morning sometimes I will straighten my hair sometimes I won't so for example today I didn't straighten my hair because this is how I woke up so I didn't straighten it but if I was gonna straighten my hair I would use the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Heat Tamer Spray because this helps tame frizz and I have naturally kind of wavy curly hair so I have naturally frizzy hair which sometimes is a bad combination but the Keratin Smooth Heat Tamer Spray helps really tame the frizz, which is awesome. Even if I don't use heat, I will still use this if I have frizziness. So I will just spray it on my hair and then just brush it out with a comb. And then I never used to straighten my hair because I had really long hair. So it would just kind of naturally be wavy and it would look really nice. So I never felt the need to straighten it. Why would I apply heat to my hair if I don't have to? But now that my hair is shorter, I do have to straighten it sometimes just because there's not much you can do with short hair. So the straightener I use is the Hot Tools um, HT5102 and I've had this for a while but I never really utilized it until recently when I got my hair cut. So it's just purple and it's got shiny and I really like the finish on it. And it's a great straightener, it heats up in 30 seconds. It's amazing, I got it off eBay for $30. I will try and find the link and I'll post it below. I don't think it's still $30 just because it was on a discounted rate. It was originally $60. It was marked down to 50% off, so hopefully it's still on sale or really cheap, but I will try and find the link for you guys and I'll post it below. The final hair product that I have to show you guys is the Tresemme Fresh Start Dry Shampoo for smoothing. Um, it's for a straight, normal hair. Because my hair is so short, it gets oily so quick. It's not even funny. Like, there's one point where I stopped conditioning my hair because that's what I thought was contributing to the oiliness. But then I, it got more oily because I guess my hair was so dry that it was like restoring itself with more oil. So um, I don't like washing my hair every day and it's not good to wash your hair every day. So I tr tried a different, I tried a bunch of dry shampoos. I tried this one, I tried the Suave, um, the Batiste. The Batiste one is good, but for the price, I mean, it's not worth it for me. So I just bought the Tresemme. I think this is like three or four dollars at Walmart. And it works great. I do have to shampoo my hair like the night that I use it like I can't go more than two days without washing my hair so but this helps control it for the day that I do use it for so I've been loving this for eyeshadow I haven't been wearing eyeshadow I never wear eyeshadow actually what am I saying I barely wear eyeshadow but um, recently I've just been kind of into just lightly dusting my eyelids with the color just to hide any discoloration like um, redness veins that may show through because your eyelids are the thickest thinnest skin on your body <laughs> so I just use my Naked 2 palette my Urban Decay and I use the color Tees and I just use a blending brush and I just kind of blend it into my crease just to cover up any discoloration that may be there and it kind of just evens out the skin tone so I have two favorite brushes um, first brush I haven't been wearing foundation just because my skin my skin was so bad I was just trying not to cover it up I was trying to let it heal naturally I didn't want to suffocate it or cause any more you know, like stuff to go into my pores or anything. So I totally cut off makeup for a while there, but my skin has been improving immensely. So um, for my foundation, I use the Sigma Around Kabuki F82. Just looks like this. It's a very dense brush. I think this is from like their fancier line. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, I think this was like a 13 or $16. So very affordable, but I love it. It's such a dense brush and it makes your this is for um, look of foundation. It makes it look so airbrushed, so perfect, and I love it. And then a blush brush. Oh, I actually said that. Every I swear, every beauty guru messes that saying up. Blush brush. It's so difficult, but I think I've mastered it now. So this is the Elf tapered small tapered brush, and it just looks like this. This was only three dollars on the Eyes Lips Face website. It was I think it's part of their studio line, which I think their brushes from the studio line are three dollars, and the brushes from the regular line are a dollar or something like that. I love this, the way it's just tapered, it goes perfectly against your cheek, and it's just a perfect brush, and it's so affordable, and the br bristles are so soft, and I've had this for about three months, and I haven't had any issues with fallout, and I've washed it about three or four times now, so the, brush the bristles are still great, I love it.
I have a favorite mascara and I'm not one to like brag or like boast about mascaras, but this one just caught my attention. First of all, let's look at the packaging. Is that not adorable? That's adorable. So this is the CoverGirl Flamed Out and I accidentally bought water resistant and it was too late to return it because I opened it and used it. I hate water resistant because it's so hard to get off your lashes. Like you like have to rip out lashes in order to get it off completely. And I hate that like a raccoon I look, so. Anyways. This is what the brush looks like. And it's fantastic, I love it. It's not great for like volumizing, creating a lot of fullness and lift, but it's great for lengthening and separating the lashes. So to me, that's what I look for in a mascara. So this is great for me. And if you have a great volume, <laughs> and if you have a great volumizing mascara to go with it, I think it'd be the perfect combination. Okay, now since we're on the topic of eyelashes, eyelash curlers. I never used one because I have I have the typical Asian lashes where you curl them, 30 seconds later they fall straight again. Like, what's the deal with that? <laughs> I don't know. But um, my mom bought a new eyelash curler because she didn't like hers anymore, thank God. And this is the Vanina eyelash curler. This works amazing. I don't know if it's the plastic inside or if it's I don't know what it is, but this thing's magical. I curl my lashes and it stays curled all day. Well, not all day, but like, you know, the day that I'm out, like a work day. So like I'm at work like eight and a half hours. So it's amazing. I'm gonna try and find this on Amazon. I'll post the link below. If you have the same problem with me, if you're Asian and your lashes don't curl, click the link down there if I find it. If not, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I have a favorite chapstick. I actually included this in my last video. As I mentioned, it's Actually, I think I mentioned this on my collab channel, so if you want to watch that video, I'll list it below and I'll post the link up here. But this is the Nivea Lovely Lips Natural Pink um, Chapstick, and it's, it looks like this. Just pink. Well, it looks red, but it goes on pink. I'll show you. So that's what it looks like. It tastes fruity, kind of plasticky. It doesn't taste terrible, which is what I like. But it's only available in Thailand, but I think you can get it on eBay, so I'll look out for this on ebay too and i'll post the link below if i can find it but i absolutely love this it's so soft it the perfect color like do you see this color it's gorgeous i get compliments on it all the time they're like what are you wearing i'm wearing chapstick <laughs> but yeah i absolutely love it and then i have two foundations to show you one which i did a review on so this is the covergirl outlast day fabulous 3-in-1 foundation sunscreen and primer and spf 20 and all that good stuff so i have three bottles three because I have a problem. Well, one's because it's summertime and I got darker, so I had to buy a new color. But the other one's because I just, I love them. So these are great. This is what I use my Sigma brush to use my foundation. I put this, I use this to put it on, is what I'm trying to tell you. And this is when my acne is a little bit worse. So I want to cover up my skin or I just want a really flawless look. I don't use this on an everyday basis. Um, so on an everyday basis, I will use the Physician's Formula Mineral Talc Free Wear Loose Powder. This is for when I just have, you know, those everyday faces where you just want to cover up the bit of redness that you have or you don't have severe acne that you want to cover up, but you just want a fresh, natural look. So you don't look like you're, like, sick in the face or something. So this is what I use on an everyday basis, and to apply that, I just use a brush that it comes with. It seems to work fine, so... Yeah! And this is really cheap at Walmart. All their stuff has been, like, 50% off, plus... Physicians Formula sent me a bunch of coupons for like $5 or something off their products or some dollar amount off their products. I don't really remember. I think I did a haul on this though, so I'll try and find that and list it below. But yeah, those are my favorites for the month. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I mentioned in my previous video that I'm going to university and I'm going to be working starting September, so I'm not going to be filming as much as I want to, but leave a request down below because I still have a month, um, three weeks because I'm going on vacation this this weekend. <gasps> Yay! But yeah, so three weeks of filming for you guys. So if you want any request, maybe for a back to school, maybe I'll do a few videos for that. And uh, that's it. I'm going to go drink my bubble tea and have a shower and start packing because I only have three days. All right. Bye.